Thank you for watching this financial modeling lesson. In this extract, we will create a stacked column chart showing the trend of revenues and their breakdown in each of the years under consideration. In the sheet Column Stacked Chart, we have a table with items linked to the P&L sheet we created earlier. These are the various categories of revenue Generco has – net sales, other revenues, recharges. An additional element we have here is the gross margin percentage for three years. Very often it is interesting to combine the analysis of revenue development with one of margins as there is a direct connection between the two. Let's select the table and go to Insert, choose Column among various chart types, and select Stacked Column. OK. See how different this chart is from the one on the right? We'll modify it step by step in order to obtain the same chart. First of all, we have to invert rows and columns as we want to observe the development of revenues per each year. Then let's do some formatting. I prefer to have my charts in Arial. That is why I'll click over the chart and select its font to be Arial. My favorite font size is 8. Don't worry, it isn't too small. OK, let's do another right click, but this time select Format Chart Area. Here I'd like to remove the fill of the chart and its borderline. Click No for both. The next step will be to render the grid lines less invasive. Let's select the grid lines and do a right mouse click in order to select Format Grid Lines. I'll choose to have a solid line, which is gray and is transparent at 75%. I think grid lines look much better this way. Let's adjust the size of the chart, as we want to have a quarter page chart. We'll need to select a label for the horizontal axis. I'll just click on the chart, choose Select Data, go to the Horizontal Access Title section within the dialog box which opens, and select the three years under analysis, as we have the breakdown of revenues for each of these years in the three columns. Let's change the colors of the chart a little bit. I'll assign the following colors to each of the time series. See how by left clicking on just one of them, the whole time series is selected, and this makes it easier for corrections and modifications? Net sales will be in dark blue. Other revenues will be in a lighter blue. For recharges, we can have a distinctive color, such as this version of red. Now, let's make the columns of our chart a bit larger. In order to do this, I'll make a right click on one of the columns and select Format Data Series. Once I am in the Format Data Series menu, I'll reduce the size of the gap width from 150% to 50%. OK. What needs to be done yet? We have to deal with the gross margin percentage which is represented as a line in the chart on the right. That's why I'll select the Data Series of the Gross Margin Percentage and select again the Format Data Series menu. Once we are inside the menu, we have to click on Secondary Access. This will add a secondary access to our chart, but does not solve the problem that we would like to see this parameter as a line. In order to do that, I'll right-click on the Time Series and select Change Series Chart Type, where we can choose Line Chart. An additional detail would be to smooth the line representing gross margin percentage. This can be done by selecting the line, right-clicking on it, and picking the Format Data Series menu, where we can find the Line Style menu, in which we can click on Smooth Line. The last detail we're missing is to add data labels to the values of our chart, which is done easily by right-clicking on a series and selecting Add Data Tables. The default labels are in black but probably the better option is to have them in white and in bold. I still need to remove the black line which is on the axis. Right-click on one axis, 
select Format Axis, go to Line Color, and remove the color by picking No Line. The last detail that we have to address in order to render our two charts completely the same is Axis Scale. I'll adjust that by going to the Axis Options menu and manually selecting the scale settings which I prefer. Now the two charts are the same. You can see how many manipulations are necessary in order to render a chart professional and good looking. I promise you that the extra effort is worth it, because respecting many of these little details shows a lot about your precision and dedication.